up, family? What's up, family? Welcome, welcome to Late Night. That's right, Late Night Radio, the live jazz experience. That's right, this is a smooth jazz podcast featuring WKHS. That's right, FM 90.5, Chestertown, Maryland. You got DJ Lady Praise and my man DJ Jazz Man coming out of Chestertown, Maryland. This is their podcast. You can find it on Spotify. Right, if you want to check us out on the replays of their Sunday show, which airs uh, right on their radio, on their, their website, and they will tell you what it is, because Batman always forget. That's right, I forget. Too much stuff to remember. But we're going to bring them on. We got special guests coming out of the Eastern Shore of Maryland. We're going to have a fantastic time this Sunday coming up with the Nikisha Mosey Show. That's right. The Nikisha Mosey Show going to be on the Eastern Shore in studio with a live studio audience. Right, if you haven't gotten your ticket, we'll let you know if we still have some available. But it's gonna be awesome, awesome, awesome. It's gonna be a hot day though, but it's gonna be hot in the studio because we're gonna be doing some live TV. We got some entertainment, we got some, some, some testimony, some transparency, all this stuff gonna be going on now. We're having a good time. All right, let's talk to you Lady Crazy. All right, that's, that's you, Jazz Man. Uh, you hear me? You guys, Jazz Man? It, 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 Lady Praise. Lady Praise. Yeah, I can barely hear. I can barely hear Jerry, so I lost you there for a minute, guys. All right, how we doing now? No, uh, it's the same. It's the same. Okay, we're doing fine now. All right, I had to bring up. I had to bring up the juice. Okay, great. Okay, <laughs> all right. We 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 on the, let me bring okay. the juice this up. This is DJ some Lady Praise. Okay. Yeah, we're a little low on um on a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. So, Hold tight, y'all. Hold tight. All right. Meanwhile, Lady Praise, your, your guest is in studio. They're ready to talk to you, so you can go ahead and, and uh, introduce them. All right. We actually All right. We got my man. We got well, welcome, everybody. This is the Live Jazz Experience That's podcast, right. and our guest this evening is uh, the group Shamanic Praise. How's everybody doing this evening? Hey, we're right. doing pretty good. Yeah. Great, great, great. So, hey, tell me, so who is Somatic Praise? Uh, basically, Somatic Praise is just a, a, it's really a ministry. We, uh, we, we go to different uh, engagement churches and things of that nature and just go out and, and minister the, and give back the gifts that God has given us through either singing or playing instruments and things like that. Hmm. Okay, all right, okay. So how long have you guys been doing this? Oh, we've been doing this going on five years now. Really? Yeah. So where are you guys from? Because I understand you, are you are you from like maybe like the Caroline County area? Uh, actually, we're we're a group of people that's um, all from all over. We got some people that live in Delaware, some people that live in Caroline County, some people wow. in Kent County, and we just joined together and um, just created one family. Wow. Man, because I, I I definitely have heard you guys before, and I've heard you a couple of times, and you really really sound wonderful, very Praise anointed. Praise God. Very anointed, very anointed. So hey, let me ask you this: So who who are your musical? Who, what what are some of your who are your, some of your musical influences? Um, ah. so- a lot, of, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we, uh, a lot of us like Tasha Cobb. Tasha Cobb is really inspirational, and uh, also Kurt. Franklin. Oh my gosh! Yes. Yeah, Kurt Franklin. Well. Yeah. Yo. Okay, I lost you there. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, that's okay. Did you guys you finish your answer? Okay, I I lost you there. I, I think you're having a little problem but hey anyway look you know i i think i think i sort of know some of you guys and i think i remember seeing you guys at uh your group at my cousin's funeral where's like, that, where's that your cousin that was at the that was a that was a church in greensboro maryland and yeah, yeah. and He's his name is Kenny Gross, and I was like, wait a minute, I'm like wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> hold on, what? what so, it's, yeah. it's, 
if if uh if he was your cousin, then you my cousin. Well, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I had to ask my aunt, and I'm like, you know, who? How, how is Kenny? You know, because again, I, I've I've known Kenny for my gosh, I'm I, I've known. I mean, you know, he's my cousin, so I mean, you know, he would always be at my aunt's house, and we would always, you know, meet up there with family reunions and stuff, and. He would come down and, you know, play his bass and play his horn and just, you know, and, and, uh, yeah. So, um, he's, he's my, he's my, he's my grandmother's sister, grandson. So we're third cousins. Okay. So he's my, he's my father's, um, cousin, like first, first cousin, first cousin. Wow. Well, what's up, cuz? Hey. <laughs> No. Small <laughs> world. Uh, definitely small world. Definitely small world. All right. Hey, Jasmine, you got any questions? Yes. How you all? How you doing, guys? This is DJ Jazz, man. How you doing? How you doing? Now, how many of you are are we talking to? Ah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I love the the name Sermonic Praise. How did you all get that name? Wow, um, it was kind of a long process. Uh, basically, uh, we 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 want to be recognized as a praise and worship group or like an inspirational group, and then we, but we also know that it's a ministry. So that's that's where the Sermonic the, the Sermonic as in like sermon and then praise we're, we're doing two at one at one time. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Now, in, in terms of, now, how did you all get the members of the group together? I mean, did you all know each other? Was it an audition? I mean, how did it work? Uh, um, basically, I mean, God, we, we, we give all glory to God. God put us together. That's how we feel. Um, yeah. um, Amen. I'm the keyboard player. My father, he's the bass player. And um, our drummer and, and guitar player, we've known for a pretty long time. So, um, and my wife, is she's wow. the least, um, and then, um, there's another singer that, um, she's, um, God, God's mother, and then my sister, she's the writer. So it's basically a close-knit family, I guess, kind of ordeal. Oh, okay. Now, have you, have you all done a CD, or are you putting out a CD in the future? Where are you all staying with this, with, in terms of the music? What? We're actually in the process of putting out a CD. Oh, okay. Is there a release date? Excuse me? Uh, do you have a release date in mind, or you um, are still working on it? Yeah, we're still work, working on it. Uh, we, we definitely, uh, maybe sometime next year, I'm um, in the summertime, next year, so definitely sometime soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, because um, before you all release it, we would like you all to come on the, um, the radio show. Uh, ninety point five yes. WKHS and help uh, with the promo. Definitely appreciate that. Definitely. Yeah, you all can come. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, yeah, no, no doubt about it. Just give us a, a call and um, you can come on the show yeah. and um, free promotion. Sure can. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Great. We would love to have you guys. All right. yeah. yeah. Okay, lady play. All right, Lady so, Play, hey you guys, got your so, next you, question? Yeah, so I understand. So you guys are all from all over. So how how so how far have you gone to sing? I mean, are you just really just regulated to just singing on the, you know, praising the Lord on the shore? Or have, have you gone, how far have you gone, any other states you traveled to? Um, the the further we probably went was in, in Pennsylvania. We've been to Pennsylvania. We've been to Baltimore. Okay. Um, yeah, so basically Pennsylvania, but we we definitely are not afraid to go out anywhere. If anybody calls us from anywhere, we'll definitely be willing to, to go. Wow, that's great. That's great. I love that. Praise the Lord anywhere you can. I love it. Great. Right. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So, so um, so you said there's like five. So I, I look at your. I, I think you guys had a Facebook page, and it's like six or seven members. So, do you guys like cross? Do you, do you as a the spokesman, do you, do you sing as well, or is just 
your your you like you said your wife sings. Is there anybody else you guys sing as well or what? Does everybody sing or? Oh, really? It's, it's it's two singers. It's right now we have two singers, and then we have a keyboard player. Okay. Keyboard player, which is me. Um, we have bass guitar player, which is my father. Um, we have okay. a drummer. We also have a guitar player. Okay. Okay. And then also um, the writer. All right. Okay. All right. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right, Bo. So, this, this is hey, Jazz, ba- you got any more questions? Or Batman? Batman got a question. Bo, this is Batman. What's going on, brother? How you doing? How you doing, man? I'm blessed, man. Awesome, awesome. I was just checking some levels on you guys. That's why y'all didn't hear Batman. Because Batman was uh, was going live with 24 hours of all this awesome independent music is out here, man. And that's what <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys, man. You know, how you guys... You know, about being, you know, an independent gospel artist, you know, rocking your own music, writing what you want. How y'all feel about that? I know I got an echo. Yeah, you was kind of breaking up there, but if, if I, I think if I heard you correctly, you was asking us how, um, how we feel about independent artists. Yeah, I was trying to fix some levels. Hold tight one second. Yeah, how you guys feel about being on your own, you know, as far as being in your own control? Did you hear um, that, we, we, we like it pretty pretty much because, I mean, it's not anybody really telling us what to do or how to do things. So we, we really just following God's God's way. So that's the way that we feel the more comfortable. That's what that's where we are, just listening to God and following his, 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 his steps and being... Yeah, under his, his anointing, and so we, we, we like it. That's right. All right, I got I got all my levels right now. I was, I was listening to you at the same time. I was trying to fix some levels. But my, my real big question, though, Bo, we're going to be getting together with you guys on Sunday. This is this is a this is a big thing for us, man. You know, we're talking about you know on film showing your showing your stuff to the world. You know, um, of course, the land of market is 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 kind of like the the, the mega of of African American entertainment now. That's where all of your entertain, all your Hollywood people are moving now. Basically, they're going to be watching you guys. Uh, we, you know, you know, we we excited on this end, man. We really excited for Lakeisha. Uh, we happy for her having this show. We happy for Chestertown embracing her. And we want to know how how Samani Praise feel about this, man. How you guys feel? Well, I'm excited. Personally. Who's this? Keisha? Is this Keish? This is Ricky. <laughs> Say it again. You broke up a little bit. This, you said it's Keisha? So this is Keisha on the line? No, that was Ricky. That was Ricky speaking. This is oh. Keisha now, but that was Ricky. Speaking. Oh, that was Ricky. All right. I was asked Keisha. Okay. I think I asked Keisha, do you guys have any music um, that's available for the public to, to download or to add to their playlist? So have you guys released anything in the past or are you guys just getting into that that part of it now, you know, that part of the industry? So, oh, as of right now, we, uh, we're because, because we're, we're a ministry and we don't, we go to diff, out different uh whatever we don't ask for any money or anything like that so basically everything that we have we have to come up financially by ourselves uh, um so because of that uh and that's also comes oh. with being an independent artist too so there's also pros and cons um mm-hmm. that's definitely the con um but so because of that uh, we're slowly in, in the making of uh getting the funds to become and to, to get some music out there but again in the near future we will be um having that available for the public yeah, and that's a, that's an interesting question. I wanted to ask you, um, Lady Praise, um, by you being a musician, you know, yeah. an artist yourself. You know, what are the resources like on the shore right now? Do you guys, if you guys, if you decide to write your own music right now, Lady Praise, and 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 you know, you got a band mm-hmm. that's playing and everything is flowing, you're ready to get it mastered. Do you guys have um, those um, resources right now where it's, it's affordable? Uh, or do you guys have to travel to D.C. or Baltimore uh, to work with some of your known, you know, engineers over here? I would think um, I know that there are different there are different venues as far as like, you know, there's like the open mic night. And a lot of places around here have open mic nights. And that really gets you out in front 
of um, people, they, they always have an open mic night at the Garfield on Wednesday nights, which is usually like the last, the last Wednesday in the month. If I'm actually I'm thinking about doing that one myself. And then there's other, um, you know, there's like the mainstay in Rock Hall where you can go in and say, hey, you know, but again, those are more your, your those are more your, your, your secular venues. So, and, you know, but there's not really, there's not really much around here, not as I know of. I know there are a couple of studios, uh, you know, the Glen Burnie, you know, across the Bay Bridge and whatever, but sure to sure, I don't know of many at all. Okay. Um, not really. I mean, if I, if, if I ever had decided to say, hey, let me go in and write a song and put it out, you know, I would probably have to go to, um, you know, our, our, one of my co-hosts, Sam, DJ Whisper, and he has a recording studio in his house. So right, okay. I, I know I can easily go and, you know, have him record it and maybe just, you know, try to pass it out around to people and, you know, but that's about it really for here. Yeah, so. So, so I guess I better direct that question to Bo. <laughs> so, so Bo, um, so when you, when you guys are ready to drop your CD or, you know, start getting your stuff mastered so you can start streaming it online, what is, what are some of the resources available for you guys? I know you said basically right now the currency is, it is slowing you down right now, but if you, if you had to go somewhere to work with, say, a smaller engineer just to, to start hmm. working, looking at getting it mastered, do you, you have those resources available on the shore? Hmm. Um, so what we've been doing, uh, we've been actually traveling to the D.C. area and working with, uh, I don't know, um, wow. his name is called DJ Dynamite. And um, he had like a lot of things hmm. on 95.5, uh, 93.9. He's more of like a, a secular um master mm. and mixer and producer. Um but uh, um my my cousin, which is quick, he's he's well known in the D C P G County area, which is Kenny Gross's son. He's a drummer. Right. Put his on yeah. I know Kenny. I I know I know quick, yeah. I know quick. Yep, yep. Yeah. So he got us hooked up with him and so he's definitely showing us the ropes and like allowing us to use his studio mm-hmm. um to get that real real clean sound. And we really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, man. Wow, that's great. It's great. I know they're excited. I know you got to be excited for them, Lady Praise. Hey, 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 Batman! I have a quick question. Doesn't Quick play with? uh, Didn't he play with like DU and some of those bands over there? Go Go bands. Doesn't he play with some of those guys? Yeah, yeah. He played right now. I think he played. I think it's called Essence. But he went before Chuck Chuck Brown died. Yeah, he was playing with Chuck. Yeah. Oh, wow! Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I remember Kenny was telling me about that before he passed. I was like, "Wow!" I think, yeah, I think yeah, they're still performing. Big, uh, I think they're yeah. still performing for Chuck Brown, though. I thought I seen something um, that they got something going on now. I believe so. They might be still oh. together. Oh wow! Yeah, I thought I saw something. I'm gonna look oh. it up again. Oh, I thought yeah, I saw yeah. That yeah, I heard. Um, this is DJ Jasmine, but I heard in DC they're trying to ban certain global music in certain places. Wow. Ah, we talked about that. You're on the radio. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Um, I, I, heard, I heard about that, too. Um, I mean, we, we yeah. really, like I said, I just heard about it. I, I really we do with gospel, so we really don't get all into that, though. Yeah. But it is exactly. interesting. It yeah, is interesting. yeah. It's yeah. interesting facts. I, I understand that. <laughs> all right <laughs> so uh so bo you guys getting ready for sunday man you guys are ready how y'all feeling bo. all right so get so i know we got a few minutes left uh you, lady praise uh hey bo you have a couple of the other ladies uh ladies like to talk a little bit about where their career is right now and um and how they Moved into uh, doing ministry music. Oh yeah! I know you got Keisha over there, and there was another young lady. Cause they your lead singer, I believe. Right? Brittany. Brittany. Oh, uh, um, I just sing. Um, I love to give God all the glory, and I just I like to, for I love when He uses me uh, and and allows me to sit back while He uses me. So I pray to go far in His mm-hmm. journey. Amen. All right. Amen. <laughs> I like the way yeah, she said that. Wishes. Yeah. That, that was Brittany that said that. That was Brittany. Ricky. Yeah. Ricky. Ricky. Okay. So she ready to um 
So Rick, Ricky, we might have to get Ricky um here in Baltimore in the red room. Sounds like she has um a testimony. Is that, <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Is that right, Ricky? Am, am, I, am I right? Yes. All right. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna have to get with Lakeisha and see how I'll. Because one of the things I want everybody to know that's listening to the program right now, uh, the Lakeisha Mosley show is basically a program that's basically helping get God's message out to the people who are going through some things that we have went through and we can kind of walk them through it and they can see the light shine on you guys, how God had, you know, shown, you know, you tell your story and they say, well, I'm in that same situation, but just letting them know that the storm is only temporary. Just hang in there. A lot of people give up fast. They give up really fast. And they don't have no advocates, they don't have no help, and they just call it quits. So basically when you have a testimony, God has given you that journey so you can share that. And he blessed us with this medium so we can share it. And so if someone is on the other line listening right now or on the other end of the radio and they going through something, but they just God, the Holy Ghost just led them to this program. We get those we get those messages all the time. How people said he just was led. You know, you uh-huh. hear about it all the time that people heard a song while he was in their car and they was thinking about driving off of a cliff or they was about to put a burl in their mouth. But they heard a, a message through a song or a talk show or a sermon just in time. But that's how he come, right? He comes yes. just in time. So wow. um, so that's going to be a blessing. To, um, that's to how see, he comes. That's right, to see you guys at work. And and I, and I want you guys to know that, you know, it, the relationship doesn't end on Sunday with us, okay? And, and, it doesn't, All right. and it doesn't end after y'all get y'all CD released and we play it or after you sit in studio with Lady Praise and Jazz, man, the, the relationship continues because we got a lot of program. We got a lot of people we got to reach. And, um, and you know, so that's Absolutely. that's what this 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 uh, relationship is Amen. all about. All right, who else was who else was there in the studio yeah. that want, want to talk to Lady Praise and, and DJ Jazz Man? Yeah, well, we have uh, uh, Sister uh, Danielle. She's our, our songwriter as well. Um, so. Yeah, I know you want to talk to her, Lady Praise. Oh, I, I have a I have a question. <laughs> Okay, this T.K. Jasmine asking about the songwriting, but I um, myself I write a little poetry, and I want to know um, what, um, how do you get inspired to write a song? Does it oh, come actually, to you? I'm a, a poet by nature. I do poetry and spoken word for the group as well. Um, uh-huh. I'm Ooh. inspired through everything. I I feel like when. When you when you're a writer, I feel like God presents everyday circumstances to you when you just create can create music and you find inspiration in it. My brother, he he won't say it himself, but he he contributes to a lot of the songs as well. Like he has a, a bit of a writer in him. Oh, okay. So how many songs have you written? Probably complete. We have probably about 20 songs we always have like unfinished projects and things that were like might just have to get the melody right to something maybe the lyrics a little uh-huh. bit tighten up the hook or something oh okay wow this is, this, this is exciting this is man all this talent <laughs> really good yeah wow yeah we gotta talk yeah, I, 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 just, I think hey, um, to the, I think to the key just one here too is it oh, okay yeah. Keisha. I just wanted to say, <laughs> I just wanted to say that, um, you know, just hearing uh, both speaking, how they do write songs, I think that, um, you know, everybody is ordained for a certain purpose and for a certain time, especially such as this. And it's just a joy just to, um, you know, have everyone that contributes their own, you know, in their own way to the group. It definitely in, like an or it's an appointed ministry for, and I think that. You know, while you know, everything happens for a reason, I just thank God for this platform. You know, we all do. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Wow. You know. Speak the people's heart. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Lady Praise. I'm I'm just so super excited about them. Yeah. You know, all this stuff is being uncovered. Um, We we definitely got a, we got, we got, hey, it's going to be I'm exciting. excited because yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm excited right now. I'm, I'm excited. I'm listening to them, and I'm going, man, praise God. I mean, because, you know, as, you know as, as, as I told you how this whole radio show, God just said, okay, here, here's a radio show. Boom. So, wow. So, I'm, I'm excited. Yes. This, this is going to be blessed. Mm, man, I'm getting chills. I'm mm. getting chills. Man. Talking to them, you, you know, you know, Batman brain is racing right now. You know, I'm thinking about um, uh, bringing them down here. You know, I got the late night show, uh, I got the red room, we got uh, Lakeisha Mosley show mm-hmm. in the studio, uh, we got MVP with Sky Top Top Ten video. You know, we got man, we got to bring them to Baltimore to do some TV so we can really talk yeah. to them. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Yes, yes. Spoil you guys yeah, up. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I got, I got one more question. The Batman gonna go on mute and let uh, Lady Praise finish up the interview. But I just want to ask you guys, how you guys feel about um life, life on um on the Eastern Shore? You know, how y'all feel about that? Who grew up? Well, who grew up there? Our life on the Eastern Shore. Yes. Well, I'm gonna let our, our bass player uh, answer that question because he lives on a. On the Western Shore, he's uh, Kenny Gross's first cousin. Um, he lived on the Western Shore in the D.C. PG mm-hmm. area and, and on the Eastern Shore. So I let him, I mean, say the differences and things of that nature. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Um, Praise the Lord. Living on the shore is 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 um, a blessing uh, because I, I've lived in the D.C. area, and, uh, and Kenny and I used to. Uh, hang out together, do things together, play music together. But on the shore, life is uh, a little bit slower, uh, a little bit freer. Uh, uh, and uh, um, as far as music is concerned, you know, music has always been in our family for a long time. And uh, I thank God for you guys because you guys are, are allowing God to use you. And uh, Amen. God Amen. open doors for people like us, and it's truly a blessing. Amen. Uh, Amen. It's, a, it's an answer to prayer. Amen. 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 Awesome. I can feel y'all Amen. excitement. I can feel excitement, Amen. lady praise and jazz, man. I can feel it. y'all know how Batman rolled. Y'all know how he rolled. You know he feel yeah. excited about them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, so I'm trying to find that out. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait till he meet uh, uh, Divine of Annapolis. You know, uh, Miss Patricia. You know, I, you know they just won um, a big uh, contest uh, out in Atlanta. It was it was sponsored. I'm not sure if you guys been following uh, some of the war shows. And I know uh, Lady Praise, you and Jazz Man, you guys been in the jazz world for a minute. I don't even. I'm I'm going to start learning a lot about the jazz world. But you guys don't know. But the gospel industry is tremendous in this country, especially uh, when it comes to award shows coming out of Atlanta, uh, New York, Absolutely. Baltimore. Um, I want everybody to write this date down. August 3rd, uh, Dr. Newsom, uh, he's been doing this thing for a minute. He, he actually uh, was affiliated with uh, the Stella Awards and also um, with the Grammys. But he uh been promoting a award show for a very very long time here and he's, he's celebrating his 24th award show 24th award show here uh and it'd be nice mm. if you guys can come hang out oh. here we're gonna have uh positive power we're gonna provide media coverage and we do a lot of a lot a lot of promotion so um which means you got oh, a digital okay. footprint for life <laughs> you know and and he's gonna have some actors a guy from the empire is gonna be here uh, a lot of award-winning authors uh, life coaches. I mean, it's going to be a tremendous day for uh, people worshiping and glorifying God's uh, success in their life. Mm-hmm. So uh, and he's going to have some powerful singers. Mm-hmm. I mean, you guys will be like, wow, powerful sing. He always finds the the best in voices. Uh, he because he likes to handpick his his acts. Okay, Divine and Annapolis is that group. He actually had mas- he ma- he uh, actually managed him for a short while uh, in 2018, and they went on to do a whole lot of great things. They've been out in Vegas. They they like I said, they just won a contest, um, which um, gave them a lot of privileges for a lot of things. Um, so you get a chance to meet them. You can find some of their concert footage on our website if you want to check them out. So what's the, some of the great things that you know we want to? be able to um introduce to the world through our medium is uh 
the fantastic gifts and talent that God has blessed us with through gospel and Christian music. Amen. All right. So, with all that said, okay. lady, lady Praise, go ahead and take it away. That man's on mute. So, if you need me, I'm right here. Okay, all right. So, we're finishing it up. Um, with you guys, we want to thank you very much for, for coming on with us. And we can't wait to see you guys on Sunday. I'm excited. Yeah, we're we're excited too. Gonna get our, yeah, we're going to get our praise on at Sunday Hall. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 yes, we're going to be praising the Lord all. Yes, going to be praising the Lord. Hey, Jazz Man, you got anything else to say? Yes, I'll say that uh, we appreciate you all uh, coming on the radio show, and we definitely would like to have y'all on the show in the studio. Um, whenever you are yes. ready, you just let us know. In fact, you all could come before you finish the CD. So whenever you all are comfortable and you're ready, and I'm looking forward to meeting you all on Sunday. And God bless. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen out there in All Facebook right. land, Facebook land, Spricker land, Spotify, that was Sermonic Praise. You're going to hear a lot about that group. I really like them. I got real good vibes from them. And um, Lady Praise, I'm, I'm so excited, Lady Praise. Batman's excited. I'm excited too. Are you kidding me? These yeah. guys are good. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I've heard them. <laughs> yeah. They're very good. That's right. That's Cannot right. wait. <laughs> I love their humbleness. Yes. I love their humbleness about them. Um, I hope they got a good yeah, feeling about us. I like that. Yeah, I hope they got a good feeling about us. Absolutely. You are going to go far. Yeah, Let's go far with that. And, yeah. uh, you know, I hope we can learn some stuff from us and, you know, introduce them to what's out there waiting because it's a lot out there, man. You know, I just talked about just a, I think, I think Atlanta alone has five award shows. Did you know that Lady Praise? I don't think, did I tell you that? No. Yes, they have five award shows and two, yeah, of, them, two of them are coming up now. Um, matter of fact, um, Batman, okay. our radio yeah. station has been nominated for f- over 40 awards this year. In tw- between 2018 and 2019 in a year. And, um, so, wow. Yeah, so, great, man. Congratulations. Great. Thank you. And, you know, if you think about yeah. that, you know, you, you can't, everybody can't win. This is just like everybody can't win the Super Bowl. There's only one trophy, but 16 teams can make it to the playoffs, which is still considered to be a major accomplishment. <laughs> right? Right or wrong? Yes. That's true. Very true. No, that's true. Very right. true. That's right. Because how many it's times? Very true. Absolutely. How many times you hear uh, actors stand up and they say Grammy and nominated so and so, so and so? They don't always say who won the Grammys. Just being nominated is an achievement. So, um, with all that said, it's sometimes it's, it's yeah. not it's not always about the awards all the time, but the fact that people have acknowledged your work, you know, which is still a form of success, even if it's in man's eyes. But God has given you that gifts and talent because He wants you to to lift His name up because it's Him that put that in you. So. So when he lifts you up, you're lifting God up. Oh, absolutely. So, so there's nothing yeah. wrong with picking up that hardware <laughs> or getting that nomination. And then everybody know about you. Because yeah, they have they have like hundreds and thousands of people where they go out yeah. to vote and they, they see your name on those lists. You know, and that's what it's all about. Is uh, So you be able to be invited to even more platforms to be able to praise him even more. There's more praising. It's a lot of praise that need to be going on for our Lord, how good he's been for us, to us, and for us. All right. Well, I guess we're ready to go, Lady Praise. You ready to close out? You ready? Ready to close out. All right. Okay, ladies All and gentlemen. Right. We hope, we hope, um, Lady Praise, go ahead and give us your final words, then we can go ahead and close out, okay? All right. Well, this has been a, this, again, this has been another fantastic uh, the Live Jazz Experience podcast for Wednesday, uh, July 17th. And again, we, we appreciate Simonic Praise coming on and just talking with us a little bit, telling us about their story, telling us, telling, I mean, this group is, is, this group is anointed. So we can't wait to see them on, um, Sunday at Sumner Hall in Chestertown, Maryland for the taping of the Letitia Mosley show. It's going to be a wonderful time. It's going to be a wonderful time in the Lord. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that. Don't miss it. So, Amen. And, so again, um, hey, right. thank you for thank you for uh, being with us on this uh, 
podcast, and we will see you guys next week with another edition of the Amen. Live Jazz Experience. Amen. And before we go, Lady Praise, uh, Bo, Bo, would you like to praise one of your members like to pray us out? We can do that. Amen. When you're ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you for this day, Lord, because this day was ordained by you. And Lord, we thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for being the provider, Father yes, God. Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your protective hand, Lord. Yes. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would send your Holy Spirit across time and space and anoint these people, Father God, that has opened doors, Father God, yes. that has allowed people, to, their voices be heard. Mm-hmm that has allowed your word to go forth in music. And, and Father God, we thank you for them. Bless them uh, uh, spiritually, financially, and emotionally, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory yeah, for all Lord. that you've done and all that you're going to do. Lord, we look yes. forward to what you're going to do in their ministry and in our ministry. Lord, your words, they pray ye one for another. Lord, yes. we mm-hmm. pray for them as they pray for us. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' sweet holy name. Amen. 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 The live jazz experience, and we will keep Sunday on Sunday like they do the NFL football, <laughs> right? So glory to God! Yeah. All right, <laughs> and, and we just want everybody to know if you if you if you want to hear some of the Sunday Sunday jazz experience, you can go out to Spreaker Radio. Just type in Jerry Rose Live or Sunday the Sunday jazz. It, it should come right up, especially on Spotify. Uh, you go to Spotify and just type that in. It should come yeah. right up on the search engine. And we hope you enjoy those shows. They're wonderful shows. And uh, we give God praise for uh, giving um, Lady Praise um, the power to be able to to uh, broadcast yes. that show. Amen. That's right. Feel the power. Yes. All right, you got praise. Amen. That's right. All right. Let's get out of here, Lady Praise. And thank you so much, Jazz Man, for spending time with us. Thank you. We appreciate it. Amen. All right. See ya. See you later. Yes. All right, y'all. We're gonna go yep. out. We're gonna go All out right. on. Um, we're gonna go out on one. Peace. Bye. Bye bye. And we're gonna go out bye on bye. one of the Eastern Shore finest. Her name is Ty Bowden. This song is called Free Woman. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Davis and I'm from Haiti. But I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, positive power 21. Jerry was live worldwide.
are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Held by your hand, the 
if I didn't know this, I now understand. I was carried by you, and you carried me still. And all I want to do is to do your will. Your will, Lord, help me to tend to your will. Oh, 